welcome to LJP Tech Channel. Please subscribe, like, and comment. Make sure you press the bell button as well. Now, I present to you our host, LJP Tech. So what we have here is the Myono WM821 series, which is a dual wireless microphone system. Just so you know, Myono actually released a crowdfunding campaign on Kickstarter, and they have successfully funded on their target. And I believe Myono is quickly growing within the tech community, so well done for that. Now, they actually initially approached to me asking whether I'll be interested to review another different unit, but I actually insisted I wanted to review the WM821 series because I actually need to replace this wired microphone that is actually connected to my uh, Canon EOS M50. So I'm really excited about it. So this can be potentially featured on my channel on and on if this turns out to be a really good product indeed. So enough said, let's get into the unboxing. So here it goes. Okay, so let's open it up. By the way, this is actually quite a weight on it. Um, so Manoa Professional Audio Innovation. So I'm gonna truth. Nice, look at that. So that must be the quick instruction manual. So um, please do pause and have a quick look. So it's actually quite nicely labeled. It's quite clear that this is the main charging case. It comes with the lavalier um, microphone and USB cable. It's actually well described, so well done for that. So that's the actual main weight contributor, which I'm not gonna bother opening up the seal, but if you open it up, that's really nice. The quality is good. The plastic is feels really good as well. All right, so this is the pouch and the related um, microphone jacks for these transmitters. And just like how it's well described, I mean, the quality of the package is really nice. Comes with the actual separate microphone if you need it with a 3.5 uh, jack. And this is the charging cable, I presume. So that's the USB to uh, USB-C. And um, I think that's the last one, which is another separate microphone so those two could be applied to each of the um, microphone units here so on the actual transmitter itself you can see that there's this default microphone here but you got the option of putting in a separate mic uh, clip basically with a nice logo on it on the back and this is where you charge it so if you just take it out as long as this is actually being attached to the actual case here that's where it's going to be charged. Same with the receiver as well. Now on the um, one side of it, there's the power button and also the signaling. And I'm not really sure about that one, but I presume it's to do with the volume perhaps. And we've got the reset button. Nice. So you can see that there's this red light LED flashing and shows the battery level of the case as well. Uh, so if we were to look at the actual receiver itself, pretty much the same. We've got the screen in the front. Um, and also this actually will be plugged into uh, here to be able to charge it. Same thing. And the, on the top side, we got the output and the headphone jack here. And he, on the sideways, we've got the volume and A, B, which is for the wireless connection as well. So I'm not sure how that's going to work. Uh, this is the power button and the tiny reset hole as well. On the back side of it, we got the logo and the clip. So that's pretty much it for the receiver. Oh, forgot to mention that it also comes with two lavaliers. It was actually hidden on the bottom of the box. So that's why I couldn't show it to you early on. But what you do is you can see those two slots here that goes against this clip here. So make sure that the actual shape fits well into the top of the form and once you put in you have to make sure you press it down so that clips in okay so you've got a nice fluffy friend here but once you uh, decided to not use it you just push it back and it comes out okay so for the moment of truth let's see if this receiver would actually slot in on the top of the case here oh that's perfect look at that that is actually perfectly slot in into my Canon EOS M50 and all I need to do is from the one jack to another this needs to go to the output 
and that's all good to go. Okay, before we get into the actual sound recording, you can see that the uh, receiver is only uh, connected to the unit B, which I actually have it clinged onto my T-shirt that I'm wearing, uh, while as the unit A, we can see is actually on the charging dock. Now, so, um, the way how the volume system works, I actually figured out. So this is for unit B that is connected. Before we get into that, you can see the battery level of the uh, receiver and the battery level of the transmitter, the microphone. So um, I think volume three is adequate, but if you were to go to volume four, you can see that it's increasing. Volume five it is actually showing that the level is too high. So the sound might break. So uh, by, by the other way on the volume one, it might be too quiet. Volume two, I don't think it's enough. Perhaps volume three, which is right in the middle, might be adequate. So finally, this is the sound test for Maono uh, WM821 microphone system. And I had a bit of a hiccup initially. I actually plugged in the wrong um, audio jack into the receiver. Now there's clearly labeled for phone, one for the actual camera um, so that's why i couldn't figure out initially why but once i looked at the label i swapped around now it's working perfectly fine so what i'm gonna do is actually gonna leave this seat open the door and go all the way back to the furthest part of my house and then come back so here it goes see you later so now i'm actually going through the corridor and let's see if we can actually experience some of the sound um, is actually bouncing back because now I'm in the uh, toilet and you could possibly might be able to hear the ventilating sound as well or not. But at the moment there is the ventilating sound happening here. And if we were to turn off the light and now actually on the furthest part of our house and um, I'm actually looking outside the window where you might be able to hear some of the traffic noise. So I'm just gonna stop a bit. Don't know whether you can hear that. Just so you know, I have actually put in the uh, receiver volume up to five, technically for this unit B volume of five. So now I'm actually walking back uh, through the corridor and I'm just about to open up the door and here I am just walking in to my studio and good as sound. So let's do a quick sound comparison against this wired microphone that I got from Amazon Shari. So mic test one two three, mic test one two three, mic test one two three. All right, so this is the wired cable microphone. So mic test one two three. Mic test one two three. Mic test one two three. One two three. So I downloaded both of those clips and I thoroughly listened to and compared it. I could clearly see that the uh, Maono uh, WM eight to one unit has a sharper focus on my voice. It feels like it's more central focus as well which is really good. Um, and also I could kind of sense that the surrounding white noise have also been filtered out as well. But not only that, suddenly the sense that I'm having a much cooler looking, um, you know, the DSR camera, but also the freedom of movement. So I can move around and also people can probably hold this camera and then zoom in. So the cameraman can actually zoom right into me and zoom out and I can freely move and do other sort of type of video recording as well. Gives me the sense of I have actually hugely upgraded. I mean, I got 27,000 subscribers and I yet I have, cannot actually afford one of these, but thanks to the company called Mano, they kindly provide me a very expensive, very good quality wireless microphone system and I'm gonna thoroughly enjoy it. So I just wanna give huge thanks to Manoa team for um, sending me this really good product and I will thoroughly enjoy it with the freedom of movement. So I hope this video clarify how good this product is. But if you have any queries, please do comment below and I'll be more than happy to come back to you. So thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJB Tech. All the best, bye-bye.